Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Please click the subscribe button and click the bell icon and never miss another update from Almighty Java. In this video, we will see about Spring Retry. Let's open our GitHub page. Now let's clone Almighty Java MS project. Project cloned successfully. Let's import this project in Spring Source. Project imported successfully. First, let's run an almighty Java project. Server started successfully. Now let's run book REST API project. Server started successfully. Now let's open in browser. See it's working. Let's log in. Here password is password. Logged in successfully. Now let's click on all the menus. See one book is coming and this data is coming from book REST API. See here is the log, so when you click on book list icon then it is calling book list method of book controller. Let's open book controller. See here is the book list method. So using REST template it is communicating to book REST API. See here is the URL, so you have watched previous videos then you aware about this code. If not then please watch the link is in description. Let's stop the book REST API server. Now let's click on book list again and let's see what will happen. See when new click. It is throwing some exception. Let's check what is this exception all about? Okay so this exception is related to connect exception. And obviously, because book REST API server is down. Okay so here is the scenario means how to handle such situations. Let's click on video list and click again to book list. See nothing is happening reason is nothing but the exception. Let's stop this server as well. See this is a method which is trying to communicate to book REST API. But book REST API is down so because of connect exception it is not able to communicate. There is something provided by Spring which can handle such kind of scenario. And that something is nothing but Spring Retry. Let's see what is Spring Retry. Click fourth link which is nothing but Spring documentation. This is the best place to learn about Spring Retry. Retry template. The Retry functionality was pulled out of Spring Batch as of 2.2.0. It is now part of a new library. Spring Retry. To make processing more robust and less prone to failure, sometimes it helps to automatically retry a failed operation in case it might succeed on a subsequent attempt. Errors that are susceptible to this kind of treatment are transient in nature. For example, a remote call to a web service or RMI service that fails because of a network glitch or a deadlock loser exception in a database update may resolve themselves after a short wait. To automate the retry of such operations Spring Batch has the retry operations strategy. The retry operations interface looks like this. As you can see, there are many things you can do by using the Spring Retry. But like they mentioned in top description like a remote call to a web service. So let's see how to achieve this case. Other things we will cover in some other video. In this video we will focus only on the remote web service call. This URL you can find in the description. Let's implement Spring Retry. Let's search for Maven dependency. See here is the dependency. Let's copy and paste it in the palm XML file. C starts downloading. Next thing we need to enable Spring Retry at the application level. Let's open application Java class. So here is the annotation. 
That's it for this class. Now let's open book controller. Here we need to handle the scenario. As you see name itself is telling the entire story about retry. So that means instead of directly throwing an exception it will retry several times. For example in a real time scenario. One server is running for one project. And REST API other server is running. It could be the case REST service API server start is still in progress. In the meantime. If some user tries to access those service from the main application then obviously they cannot access because of connect exception. Don't worry it's easy. So here let's add annotation like retrievable. And here you can mention runtime exception. And here you can set max attempts. So like here we mentioned three means before give connect exception three times it will try to invoke rest service. And after the third attempt, if still not able to connect then throw connect exception. And here back off you can use delay in milliseconds. I hope you understood. That's it. Now let's run and see this retrieval what makes a difference. Server started. Let's log in. Now let's click on the book list. See instead of throwing exception it's trying. See the exception is throwing but after the third attempt. Now let's say instead of throwing an exception is there any way so we can handle this exception. Yes is there. So using recover we can handle this scenario. Let's add a new method with recover annotation. See this time I am just trying to print the error message. Server started automatically. Let's try again. See here after the third attempt it is not throwing an exception it is just printing the exception message. But still, we can improve. So here in the log, the exception message is printing but this will not help to end user. So end user wants some message so if REST API is not running then print a proper message. So instead of returning no let's navigate to an error page. Let's create an error page. Put some message like not working. Server is restarting. Let's try again. See here log is same. Let's check in browser. See here not working is showing. Let's add some more UI related changes so it will look better. See it's good. Let's check now. See it more obvious. Let's add some more. Let's check now. See it's perfect. So now using this kind of error message and user easily come to know that remote service not available. And in between if remote service restarted then this error message will not come. I hope you got the idea behind Spring Retry. Similar way we can handle database related exception also but that we will see in coming video. Now let's stop the server. Let's review whatever we added. I checked in my changes, I will show you from where you can find these. See here are the changes.
That's it for this video. Please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.